What is up, guys? What is up? It is Russ here, Poke Russ here, and we are here for the first, the very first, the premiere episode of Poke Russ vs. the World. So, in Poke Russ vs. the World, we're going to take on Battle Spot. First, we're going to do singles, then we're going to do some doubles, then we're going to do some, like, shenanigans, and all that kind of crazy stuff. Anyway, so let's get into this. So, I actually had one battle on Battle Spot before this. I thought I was recording, I wasn't. Long story short, I lost. Um, Gyarados froze us with Ice Fangs. And it was just a bad Christmas. He was just a lot of setup on us, and he went to town on us. So that is what happened in our first battle. So we're going to be starting under the 1500 ranking, but we can climb back up. We can totally climb back up. The world is not going to beat us down. So let's get into this first raid battle here. Okay, so I brought a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I, I have Mimikyu... Mudsdale, um, Arcanine, Gudra, Magneton, and what's my last one? What's my last one? Galissapod. Galissapod is my last one. I'm still working on getting all my Tapus and all that kind of crazy stuff. We're going to go in with Team 1. That's the team we're going with. This is the team I built specifically for this, and we'll go in. We're going to edit Team, obviously, as we go along. Okay. That is, that is, that is butts. Okay. Let's just jump back in there. Re battle spot. So, yeah, plenty of time to talk to you guys. So, if you guys like this kind of series, you guys have suggestions for different sets or stuff like that down below. It's kind of a mi mixed match sets. There are a lot of sets I wanted to try out and like. It might not all fit together, but this is the this is this is what we're doing here. This is why we're not road to rank or like fight for first. We're trying things out. We I mean, I want to I want to climb the rank as much as you do, but uh we're going to try some stuff out on here, not going to lie. Okay, so we're going to jump into singles battles here. So I'm I'm super excited for the Battle of Alola. That's the first um, special challenge coming to the um, game. So I'm excited for that. We're going to do we're going to do plenty of singles till then and sooner sooner than later we're going to start some VGC, which is what I'm really hyped for. That is where my passion belongs and I love it. <clears throat> We are going to do... Oh, we only have... <laughs> this is also... Just to let you guys know, this is also my moon card. Which is the one I'm doing the Nuzlocke on. So, I don't have a bunch of items. I have, like... I've, I've... All the Pokemon are from my Sun version that I played off-screen. But, like, I couldn't... I wanted to run a Z... Uh, Dark DMZ on my Mimikyu. For the Z Home Claws. But I couldn't because I hadn't unlocked it in this game yet. So, anyway. Looking at my opponent's team... Um... Scissor, Ninetales, Mimikyu, Zerkatry, Flygon, and Melotic. Okay, so look at my opponent's team. What's he leading with? He's probably leading with the Ninetales. He's going to want to set up that Aurora Veil as soon as possible. So I think we lead with Arcanine here. I think Arcanine is easily the best lead here. We want to lock him in. I have this really cool Arcanine set to lock and load my opponent in um looking at his team i don't know if mudsdale is the best if i bring mudsdale i have to watch out for that the only thing i really need to watch out is for the uh melodic so i'll bring that and what do i have to beat the melodic i have the magnezone how's magnezone fair here it still hits that electric still hits that electric um, what's my answer if he brings Flygon? Let's bring, you know what, let's bring our own Mimikyu? No, we bring, we bring Magnezone, Medium Magnezone in this, this match. Okay, we're gonna lock in and let's go. So, our first battle of this series, I am so freaking excited. Let's pull out a big W, guys. So obviously I'm gonna as as we go along I'm gonna switch out like members of the team. We're gonna sl do slow changes, uh, unless unless some parts of the team just don't work, and then we'll we'll get those fixed as soon as we can. I'm still working on breeding up plenty of Pokemon and stuff like that, so pretty excited for this. As I called, he led the Nine Tails. So we're gonna lock this guy in real quick here. He's gonna go straight for the Aurora Veil. I feel like I didn't see what his rating was. This Intimidate's not going to matter. The Blizzard's not going to hit as hard. And the 
uh, Moonblast isn't going to hit us hard either. So we're going to go straight for the Fire Spin. We're going to lock this guy in, hit him with a little bit of effectiveness, nothing too, too crazy. There's the Aurora Bell, I called it. Ah, oh, Ninetales avoided the Fire Spin. So I think he knows what I'm going for here. Um, he probably doesn't want to stay in here. Uh, we're going to go straight for the Toxic. Toxic whatever comes in here. Oh, it goes for the Encore, so it's going to Encore into Fire Spin. Which is completely fine. So he's locked in, so this is a support set. Our leftover is healing everything that this hail is doing. And he is locked in, and he's not doing anything. Uh, we can either switch out our night. We can either switch out. He's probably going to want to hit us with a moon blast here. Um, we can go straight into Magna Zone and just kind of KO this thing. Let's go into Magna Zone. Nothing, like I said, nothing he's going to do is going to hurt us too too bad. Oh, whoops! I meant to go into Magna Zone. So he's he's stuck he's stuck there. We get switch priority. There's a moon blast. Let's see how much this hurts. That does absolutely nothing to us. Okay. We are going to go straight for the flash cannon. I don't know if he knows if the fire spin keeps him locked in. Even if he doesn't, then he's still locked in, so. This is, gonna, this is easily going to one-shot. This is a Choice Specs, Magna Zone Rock, and Flash Cannon, uh, Thunderbolt. There's a Blizzard. He's trying to try to freeze us, isn't he? There's a Flash Cannon. Going to absolutely destroy this thing. So there's one down. So we got a little bit of a lead. A little bit of a lead. Nothing crazy. Um, he's He does have uh, a lot decent amount of damage on my Magna Zone. Let's see what he's got in the back. I'm guessing the Zerga Tree is going to come in here. I'm not exactly sure. The Flygun's going to come in. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So. Hmm. The ground move is obviously coming. Does he go for the Dragon Dance now? Because if he calls a switch, thinking he's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get some damage off on him. Um, we're gonna have to go for flash cannon again because I am choice specs. But I think he's gonna go for the dragon dance. Nope, he goes straight for the earthquake. So we do lose Magna Zone here. Not the biggest. Lo uh, he did have HP ice. He could have did. He nah, He wasn't gonna outspeed the Flygon. So the hail did stop. So the roar of our wore off. So it's not gonna do. Uh, we're gonna bring in Mudstill here. So I, I gotta remember this thing does um, have Levitate. So I can't just Earthquake this thing into Oblivion. Uh, we're gonna bring you in. We're gonna bring you in. So we're, this Mudsdale is a bulky set, um, a full HP, full attack with um, a Citrus Berry. Uh, like I said, I know I can't Earthquake him because I know he has Levitate, which makes him amazing this season. Um, it's just a lower, slightly slower speed than uh, Garchomp, but you could... Hmm. I like him. I, I really do. I really like Flygon. We're going to go for the Heavy Slam here. It's going to just be normal effective. Let's see how much this does. It's going to withdraw. Is he going into the Melotic? Okay. So this Melotic... Oh. Let's see how much we do with this Heavy Slam absolutely nothing we probably just outright lose this melodic here i did not preserve my um magna zone well enough um let's get a earthquake off there's a skull let's see how much this does we live and we do get the stamina boost here which isn't going to help us. I believe this will set off our Citrus Berry. There's our Citrus Berry. I don't think we're living another one, though. It's a possibility? No, it's, I think that did way too much.
There's the lifter is going off. Um, if we're living another one, we're gonna go for, straight for the earthquake again because I don't think Arcanine's not gonna take two. I don't even know if Arcanine could take one. And I don't even know if Mudsdale. I think. Hmm. You know what? We're gonna switch into Arcanine here. We have to hope Arcanine can take one. Let's switch out into Arcanine. Um, like I said, both my guys are weak to this melodic. I don't know exactly what I can do. If this was doubles, I'd easily have Protect, and I just try to go for the Toxic and Protect. There's a competitive boost, and that is going to that's going to close that's going to seal the deal, guys. This Scald is going to easily take us out right here. That that boost, mm, that boost though. Let's go out into Mudsdale. Like with that boost, it's 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 going to be game, sadly. So we start off the episode with a loss, but I think we can get a couple more wins. I'm not counting it out yet. Let's go for the Earthquake. It's what's doing the most damage. Um, this skull is going to absolutely obliterate, though, so that's going to be game one. Okay. So a loss. That puts us at two losses. Um, nothing. That's not too bad. We can always come back from that. And like I said, this is our first team comp of this series, so I'm sure we can make some changes. I have a Tapu Koko that's kind of ready. I just got to EV train it and then get it to... I need to bottle cap it a, just a little bit. Um, but that'll be coming down the road. I want to get a couple episodes in with this team, see how it does. And get a feel for the Met as a whole. We're going to continue battling... Our ranking did go down a bit. We're down to 1465. So let's see if see if we can pick up our first W on the channel. That's what we really need. Um, we need to switch to wild Pokemon. We need to unlock some more music is what I'm saying. Another Japanese player. We had 1332. Okay. Okay. Looking at his team, he's got an Incineroar, a Orangaroo, an a, um, Arachnid, or a Aqua Arachnid. I know what I'm talking about. A Toucanion, a Passion, and a Grand Bull. Okay. It looks like a Trick, trick Room setup, not gonna lie. Um, let's see. What do we want to bring? What's a good lead here? What's he leading with? I don't think the Arcanine is probably the best for this. Though, what does he have other than the Bug to hit Arcanine really hard with? I do like the... Well, let's go with Galissapod. Let's go with the Galissapod opening for this. Um, nothing. Nothing. Uh, he does have the bird. I was going to say, nothing on his team likes the Mudsdale. Um, we could do that. I'm not seeing any real reason to bring Magnazone. I think we can finish this up, honestly, with Mudsdale and Mimikyu. Let's go with Mudsdale and Mimikyu. Okay, I'm not really sure what the P Pamassian does in singles, but let's find out. I think the Pamassian um, is probably Scarfed. That's the only ones I've seen. Okay, so let's get into, into the second battle with Japanese person number two. We're going to open with Glispod. This Glispod set's pretty fun. It has a red card. Uh, it's going to open up with two canyon. Okay, 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 okay. So I wonder, I wonder if, um, I exit, I, my exit thing goes off in the middle of a combo. He's probably going to go for burn beak here. I don't know. What, what he might go for sky attack or uh, not sky attack. Um, we're not in a good, very good position. We need we do need to get out of here. I think we go straight into the mudsdale, but it might have bullet seed. He's probably not bullet seeding this turn though. 
let's first impression get this thing out of here and go from there. It's gonna do nice damage even though it's not very effective. There's the Rock Blast. I did forget he carried this. So he gets all of the Rock Blast. He gets to do all of the Rock Blast before my red card goes off. Or the red card might not go off if he doesn't make contact. The red card switched out opposing to Canyon. Okay, so it waits till afterwards. I thought it would do it randomly in the middle. So there's the Incineroar. And that's gonna pop us out. We're gonna go straight into Mudsdale here. Okay, so we're easily... Uh, we know he has the... We know he has the... Toucanion in the back. I think we go straight for the Rock Tomb here. Because it hits both of them super effective. He withdraws Incineroar. Does he go back into Toucanion? He goes into the Araquanid. So this Araquanid is bugged, so it's, it is going to get hit pretty freaking hard by this. What is Araquanid in its speed stat, actually? That does over half. Um, let me check Iraq when it's speed. Uh, Iraq when it, okay, what is this thing's base speed? Iraq when it's base speed is 42, so it does outspeed us. Uh, well, it, no, it doesn't now, because we did get that, we did get that off. We're gonna go straight for the Rock Tomb again, because this thing will get KO'd by it. There's going to be another Rock Tomb. And there goes the Araquanid. So, we get one KO. We're we're pretty we're looking pretty good. Because his entire his entire team is not liking this Mudsdale. To be honest. Um he's probably gonna go into the Tucanion here. Uh the bullet seed is going to be a pain, but I know we can take a bullet seed. Actually, to be honest, we can take like a billion bullet seeds. Because I learned the hard way on my let's play. I bullet so I'm like, I got this, I got this. Trial, I bullet seated, did less than half, and I literally, like, tried. Um, we're gonna go for Rock Tomb again. There's no reason not to. It hits both of his po my opponent's Pokemon super effective. We're gonna see the Z-move here. It looks like the Incineroar special Z-move, actually. So we're gonna see Malicious Moonsault here. Okay. Will this Malicious Moonsault take us up? I don't think so. We're Impish with a Citrus Berry, so let's see what this does. This move is literally the hype of Z-move in the game. We live in, we live in, we live in, we get the stamina boost, we're gonna get our health back with Citrus Berry here, and this thing can't touch us. This thing's 60 base speed, we're gonna slow it down with a Rock Tomb. Um... I think now, I think we just go through the EQ. Like, I don't see him switching into Canyon. And I know the EQ will get the KO. And if he does, I, like, with a plus one defense, I think we can still live the Bullet Seed. So he's withdrawing the Incineroar. Going out into his Tucanion. So this, this EQ fizzles. But that's fine. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. This thing really can't touch us. Unless it's got, unless it's got some kind of multi-hit move that I don't know about. There's the Brave Bird. Let's see how much this Brave Bird does. We've, we are at plus one defense. We're already bulky. Oh, that's good. That, that's, that, there's, there we go. There's a second boost. So unless the Incineroar has Fake Out and it does lots and lots and lots of damage. Um, or it has a crit, I guess. A crit Fake Out might be the only thing that this thing can do to us. Because we're at plus two defense. We are at 41 HP. I still think we're living. There's no reason to go for anything other than EQ right now. I could try to preserve a 3-0, but I think we're good. Here's Darkest Lariat. Let's see if this thing can do anything to us. So 41 to... Okay, so it, Mudsdale is taken out. That is completely fine. We have Galissapod sitting. Oh, we have we even have Mimikyu. Uh, let's go straight into Galissapod though. Um, 
We're gonna go for the first impression. I think the first impression will get it. Because it did big, big damage to that Chicanian earlier, and it was not very effective then. So I think this is easily going to pick this game up. And we're going to get the first win for Puppy Rust versus the world! Okay, so there's a first impression. And, oh, it just misses out on the KO there. Uh, this this uh, this will probably take out the Bliss Pod easily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we're down to Mimikyu. I'm not too, too worried because we do have, like I said, we outspeed it. We don't have the priority move on it. I, I did leave that off. Um, we're gonna go for the safe. We're gonna go for home claws because I can't afford. Obviously, I can't afford to miss two play roughs. Um, I could go. For, I could have just went for the shadow claw. That was dumb of me. I should have just went for the shadow claw and got the KO there. There's darkest Lariat. It's just gonna break our sub, um, or our disguise actually. And now we just finish this up in style with a play rough. Okay, so we get the first win for our channel. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So on the channel, we're 1-1. One, one, we're 1-2 one for uh, total. But we're going to make that one that we didn't do on screen completely null and void by just crushing the ladder. So obviously the team has a couple weaknesses. Uh, Mudsdale just putting in the work. That that Rock Tomb just... Um, I could I could put Rock Slide or... I believe it gets Stone Edge. Um, I know it 100% get, gets Rock Slide. Uh, but I don't know about Stone Edge. But I really like that ability to slow them down. Because the way the speed tier is in this game... Like, obviously you're either going to super out speed or you're not. Some, like, And the things where it's not, that's where it comes in handy the most. And... I just don't know if Rock Slide is like obviously I'm not I'm not gonna be able to take advantage of the Rock Slide flinchies. So we're gonna go for the battle royale music for this time. Three battles, three different sounds. Um Yeah. So we're gonna face Brandon here. Brandon is a 1457. Look at his team. He's got that Arcanine too. He's got an Arcanine, a Togemaru, a Tapu Bulu, a Tapu Coco. A Gyarados, which we did realize threatens our team pretty hardcore in the last episode. That was, but I shouldn't have brought two uh, water weaknesses to that match. Um, and the Celesteela. So we really do like Arcanine here. Arcanine hits, even though it's only uh, it's only Fire Spin. It technically hits three uh, three out of six of his guys super effective, and locks them in. So I'm probably going to... I'm probably going to lead with that Arcanine. What do I bring other than that? We don't want to bring Mudsdale, because we... If, well, if we bring the Arcanine, we can't bring Mudsdale. Because that Gyarados just runs over us. Um, We could bring the Gudra. The Gudra will help against the Coco. Because we can Sludge Wave or Salt Vested. Um, does he lead with the Tapu Koko, though? Is that what we're predicting? We're going to open up with Gudra, Arcanine, and I think we bring Mimikyu in the back. Um, I still think Mimikyu has a really good matchup. Maybe not against his team. He has, never mind, he has Steel, he has, oh, I just confirmed. Well, I, I'm like, okay, I thought I was still on Mimikyu. Well, we're bringing Mimikyu to this match, guys. So, that was... Probably not the best decision. This is easily the best music we have, because we don't have many musics, but... So we're facing Brandon. Okay. We open up Gudra. Does he open up the Tapu Koko? He opens up the Tapu Bulu. So, he can hit us super effectively with his, uh, fairy move. Which, does he get play rough? Uh, he might get play rough. We're going to straight for the Sludge Wave here. Uh, no reason not to. I could switch out and... I could have I could have switched out into Arcanine, got the Intimidate off, um, and then Fire Spun him. But I think the Sludge Wave, I really want to see how much damage this does. I wonder if he can one-hit KO me. So he goes for the Superpower, which is very interesting here. 
does a decent amount to me. He does lower his attack and defense. Here's a sludge wave. How much does this do? Absolutely destroys Bulu. Okay, good, 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 good. So there goes Bulu. And we get a little bit of healing from that grassy terrain. Thank you, Bulu. Thank you. Thank you, Bulu. I can't wait to use Tapu Bulu, not gonna lie. Uh, he's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. Um, so, looking at... Uh, I think we go for the Ice Beam here. Yeah, I think we go for the Ice Beam. Or, what do we got in the back? We don't have the... I think we go for the Ice Beam. The Ice Beam is neutral. So is Sludge Wave, though. Sludge Wave can poison. Let's go for the Sludge Wave. Let's just keep Sludge Waving. Let's make them think we're, like, choiced. There's a Dragon Dance. We're gonna get a nice neutral hit off on this. So Dragon Dance does do a lot to my team, not gonna lie. What berry is that? Is that a raises... Special Defense Braze with the Moranga Berry. That's pretty freaking crazy. So we healed a little bit there. Um, I think we need to go for the... What, 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 what do I have in the back? I have the Mimikyu. Ugh. But he's Dragon Dance, so we will outspeed the Mimikyu. I think I need a clean switch in. Yeah, we're just going to go for damage. We're just going to go for straight damage. Uh, I stay, still say we go for the Sludge Wave. Um, it's stronger, and there's a chance of poison. We need the poison, to be honest. If if we can get the poison here, we can pretty much stall... I think we can stall out his... Uh, Gyarados. We do not get the poison now. Okay. Maybe you can't get poisoned in. You might be able to not be able to get statused in uh, terrains. Or in this terrain. Uh, I don't know much about Grassy. I know, I know it heals up. So this, he's going for the pluses. Oh my god. I, sh I should have bring Arcanine in. Or I should bring Arcanine in now. And go for the Toxic. Um, we're going to bring the Arcanine in here, so it will reduce whatever move he's going to go for here. He's probably going to go for the Ice Fang. So he goes for, you get, get the Intimidate off, so he's back down to plus two. There's the crunch. Okay, there's the crunch. That's going to do massive damage. I'm bold, though, so I take those. And he lowers my defense, though. That's kind of garbage. So there's the HP left. So we get the HP from grassy terrain, and we get the HP from our leftovers, which just makes me a huge tank. Um, that's why I can't wait to run him with Bulu. Um, uh, he outspeeds me. Do I switch out? Okay, let's 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 bring back in the Gudra, or do I do I just let him waterfall me? What's the point in letting him waterfall me? Nothing. So let's bring back out the Gudra. See if maybe maybe I doubt that we can get like another intimidate off. There's the EQ. Okay. See how much damage this does to my Gudra. He's still a plus two. That does tons and tons, absolutely tons of damage. Oh, and it's Moxie. And it's Moxie. So, this is butts. Uh, let's bring in Mimikyu here.
So he's going to go for the attacking move, I believe, obviously. Let's go for the sub, because he's going to break our disguise. We go for the sub. I really wish we had got the poison. If we got the poison, we could have stalled this out with this substrat. Um, I say we just go for the play rough here. Maybe we'll get the attack drop. The only way we're surviving. Okay. So there's the waterfall breaking our sub. We need to hit this play rough. We need to hit this play rough. See how much play this player up does. Enough to pick up the Gyarados. Good, 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 good. We pick up the Gyarados. We're still in this. We're still in this. We're still in this. We're still in this. So there goes, there's the Life Orb. Because we are Life Orb Mimikyu. What is his last Mon? His last Mon is Arcanine. Okay. So his last Mon is Arcanine. Let's go into our Arcanine. Intimidate him. We'll see if this is an offensive Arcanine. Or if this is like a stall set we're running. It's a stall set we're running. This really doesn't do much. It is a, it is a physical one. So we take this. We're going to take this. Decent? Decent? Yeah, because we're bold. We're bold. We take that. And we get the lefties. So we're just going to Toxic this guy. And I think we pull off our second W. Oh, that was so freaking clutch here. So we're going to go straight for the Toxic, unless he gets a crit. Oh, he might have Earthquake. Oh, he has E-Speed, okay. E-Speed's not going to do much to us at all. There's a Toxic. The toxic avoids, okay. So I think at the range we're in, unless he has Earth... Oh, he doesn't get Earthquake. I know Arcanine, he doesn't get Earthquake. Um, We just go for the... We go for the Toxic. We need to land as toxic, then we can start morning sunning. The match is forfeited. Okay, so we got two wins in today's episode. Um, so we are back up to 2-2. Two, two. So if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Don't forget to leave your comments and suggestions down below. If there's a certain set, like if there's a different set you want me to try on one of my mons, or um, something like that. Because I, I, I'm going to bulk record a little bit of these, but not too much. So you'll see, you might see your set in a future video, probably like two or three episodes down the line. Um, but leave them in the comments down below. Or if you guys want to, if you guys want to see a certain Pokemon down below, or if there's like, if there's a certain, like a certain, I don't know, leave your comments down below if you guys, guys like this stuff. And let's see where our ranking's sitting after that. So our ranking is sitting at... 1492. Okay. So. 1492 is where we're sitting at. So, we're going to get back up above 1500. Rocket through 1500, through 1600. Probably a 1700. Probably not. I have no clue. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.